I've spent the past four years serving on the Safe Glasgow Committee, along with colleagues from Police Scotland and our other community planning partners. So I'm well briefed on the work that you've been doing. I know that the past year has been really challenging. You've had all manner of new scenarios to adapt to really quickly in the COVID context, along with everybody else, and you've had significant workforce pressures. So I would want to thank everyone who's worked really, really hard to support our local communities. I know that going forward, you've still got significant challenges with the football and with COP26. So I hope that we can continue a constructive working relationship. That's what we're looking to do in the Scottish Greens, to really build on that relationship, especially between councils and our local community planning partners, to build a relationship of accountability and scrutiny and trust. And we know that that will help public confidence. We also want to ensure that there is an open and transparent complaints procedure. In the bigger picture, Scottish Greens support a crime prevention plan that's about tackling the root causes of crime. That's to do with poverty and inequality. You know, we need to make sure that everybody has a decent income, has a decent place to stay that is warm, a decent amount of food coming in. We want to make sure that drug and alcohol addiction is treated as a public health issue, not a criminal justice one. We also want to make sure that people who are in mental health crisis get the kind of support that they need from the right place at the right time. I know that there's been really interesting joint work going on about that in Glasgow and I look forward to seeing that progress. The other thing we want to see is to have long-term investment in the kind of community work and youth work that we know actually makes a difference to our local communities. This is my background, so before I was elected I was a community worker and a youth worker, working in the community and also I've worked in Polment with young offenders and I've worked in about half of the prisons in Scotland. So this is something I really care about and uh, I'll bring a lot of passion to the table on. We know that the kind of short-term diversionary interver interventions um, in our communities, they just don't work. They just displace young people to the next thing, uh, in the next place in the next community. And I'm sure that that's just as frustrating for police colleagues as it is for local residents. So what we need to do is invest so that young people have a safe place to go. They have adults there to look out for them and to work with them long term.